Hi, no treatment today. It's Saturday. Um, I did a lot of walking yesterday. Um, I woke up a little bit achy. I don't know if that had anything to do with all the walking probably, um, but I am going to get out there again today. I feel fine um, and I want to do things while I'm feeling fine because they say you cannot. It'll be ups and downs, but um, addressing people have been asking what actually happened. So um, in October 2020, I had um, my mammogram done. Um, they found something suspicious, so they did another one in November, um, and then they did a biopsy, um, and then I found out, I believe it was on um, November 11th, uh, my doctor called me uh, to give me the news that uh, they had found cancer. So um, November 24th, I met my surgeon who um, talked things over with me and was going to put me on a um, uh, was going to have me go to an oncologist, go to a radiologist, get to meet all the different people that might possibly be part of my treatment. However, they uh, felt that mine was not as aggressive as they would, uh, that they thought. Um, they were surprised. It was uh, small. Uh, they didn't think my lymph nodes were affected. Um, it was uh, estrogen positive, which is uh, okay, I guess, to be. And again, your head will spin in with all the things they're going to put in your brain. Um, nothing seems to comprehend. Uh, they, you, it goes very, very quickly. And for some people, a much quicker than I. It was a lot slower than uh, what people I have run into have gone through. They were in, out, and um, in the same diagnosis time. Myself, I was scheduled for May. That's how comfortable they felt with mine not being, uh, it was aggressive, but not being in that state of aggressiveness, evidently. But it ended up um, surprised them, which would be me, um, that I had three lymph nodes positive when I went for the surgery in March, which was because my oncologist demanded me either getting a second opinion or going and getting it done. So um, I said, listen, I loved my surgeon. I said, let's get this done earlier. Let's see what we can do because they had to align it with a plastic surgeon, which again makes time because I did not have a mastectomy. I had a... Uh, um, I had the tumor removed, a lumpectomy is what they call, and then I had the matching a plastic surgeon doing it at the same time. Um, my surgeon was an advocate for fighting for that for women because there's no sense in uh, taking off the breast if it's not necessary because um, it, you know, so she's into saving the breast if at all possible. So um, and mine, of course, they thought was not at all uh, in the situation that it is. So with all of my conversations with everybody, I didn't feel comfortable because I know the radiation dangers. Um, so that's why I was spoken to about proton radiation. Um, and I was told that it was a 60% chance that it would return if I did not do the radiation. So that was a big um, factor for me. Um, I wanted people to know, yes, I want to live. And I believe the higher power is more in charge of that. And it's my quality of life that I am in charge of. Um, and the chemotherapy, I just did not agree with a five to 15% chance of, and the chance of it uh, altering my ending result. Um, I, I know that a lot of has to do with your food consumption. I was not aware of all the um, dangers of, you know, the dairy and the meats and, and which I, you know, loved, but, uh, and I am doing more plant-based, but I always love my vegetables. So it didn't really matter to me. Um, I am right now drinking, this is a mix. I wouldn't say uh, I added, I think I added broccoli rob, which makes it a little bit more, you might not uh, enjoy it as well, but the, um, I do put moringa powder in it as well. Um, so, you know, I don't do that absolutely every day. I do do my diatomaceous earth every day. I do apple cider vinegar every day. Um, and I feel comfortable with the choice I've made. And again, I do not think of what I have. Um, I know that, um, if anybody ha wants any more clarity on what's going on, I have all the papers, but it's, you know, they go through Anka scores. They go through, it's a bunch of things that seriously, I don't... I didn't want to freak myself on up on um, the stage. Uh, ended up going to a 2B because of the, it was a one week everything, but 2B from what uh, John Hopkins, I went there, they specified that when it's considered a B, it's closer to three. So 
they did their, uh, if you don't do chemo, um, you'll be stage four and there's nothing we can do for you. I mean, there was all kinds of things said to me, um, but I'm not looking at the cancer coming back. It's here. And uh, I had the breast reduction, uh, the lobular part um, taken out. I want to feel comfortable with that decision and that the lymph nodes, uh, let's zap them. They pretty much think there's more there. So we're doing the radiation to uh, eliminate that. And anything else left in my blood is the concern of the uh, chemotherapist. But in all actuality, we all have cancer in our body. It's whether it gets activated. So let's see what it's body, mind, and soul, I do believe. Um, and there is a lot um, that I'll talk about at different times. Again, I didn't want to go too long-winded with things. So... Love, love, love. We'll talk again.